What up y'all, this is Patrick Hayes. In this video, I wanna talk about taking action. I was recently working with a client that was having trouble taking action. She knew that she should be doing things. She had a feeling like she wanted to do certain things. She knew that um, she needed to do certain things, but for some reason, she wasn't able to take action to actually do it. This is something that a lot of us have experienced, something that I've experienced myself. So I wanted to make a video giving us five steps to taking action in our lives. Now, one of the things we have to realize about this situation is that it's more than just being in a habit that makes it difficult for us to get out of a habit and do something that we haven't done before. It's also the current that we've created in our life and the circumstances that have aligned with that current. What I mean by that is that if we take action regularly, doing the same thing over and over and over, then our entire circumstantial reality is going to start to reflect that and it's going to create a current in our life that makes it really difficult to break out of because this lifestyle has a kind of momentum to it. So how do we become that force that breaks us out of that current? And it's important to become that force because if we don't have the capacity to become the force that breaks us out of our patterns and our habits, then any pattern or habit that is destructive to us will keep us stagnant and keep building up karma and drama until at a certain point the external world will break into our little reality and shake us up. And this can be exemplified through things like somebody that's been treating their body terribly for a long period of time to the point that they have some sort of sickness or illness, right? And maybe many times have the thought, I need to change my diet, I need to start exercising, I need to start doing something better for my health. But it wasn't until they got that sickness or illness that an external force actually shook them out of that pattern, out of that current, out of that cycle, and they were able to start taking action to do something different. But the idea here is for us to become that force and not wait for the external reality and all the buildup of karma the buildup of our bad decisions to have to shake us into line, right? So how do we become that force? You can look at it like preventative medicine, right? You can do preventative medicine, you can eat healthy, you can exercise, you can take herbs, you can learn about how to take care of your body, or you can wait until you have cancer and then you know get surgery or figure it out the hard way, right? So the idea is preventative consciousness, right? Proactive consciousness. Okay, so the first step is to think about it. I know this sounds obvious, and a lot of these steps may seem obvious, but I'm gonna cover it with more nuance because even though it's obvious, a lot of people still have this problem, even though intellectually they may understand it. They still have the problem. They know they should be doing something, but they can't actually take action to do it. So first step is to think about it more. Now, typically what happens is, say we wanna start exercising or we wanna start treating our body better. What will happen is throughout our day or throughout our week, there will be little things that come up that remind us of that. Maybe we'll see somebody that's really fit, or we'll see ourselves in the mirror, or we'll feel tired, or we'll see somebody on TV, some sort of exercise program, we'll think to ourselves, wow, you know, I should be exercising. I know that I should be exercising. But then usually what happens is that's a fleeting thought. You think it for a second, and then it kind of floats over, and then it's gone, right? So the idea here is when you have those little reminders, be aware of that. Be on the hunt for those little reminders. And when you're reminded that you should be doing something or you feel like you are not doing something that you want to do, then stop for a second and start thinking about it further, right? So you're chilling out, you haven't thought about it in a while, and all of a sudden you see something on the internet about you know some different workout. And you're like, you know what? I should really be working out. Ding, ding, oh, I'm having that thought. You know what? This is a time for me to think more deeply about what I could do. What kind of exercises could I do? What kind of workout routine? What kind of different foods could I incorporate in my diet? Maybe start searching online. Start thinking about what you want to do and thinking about the different opportunities that you have. Now, when you're doing that, when you're thinking about the different opportunities there are for you to start taking action on that, you're starting to call your consciousness in and starting to put more of a magnet on that particular activity or that particular decision. And what that does is it starts making it easier for you to think about it more often. What you don't want is to just have that thought float through your mind and pass by and leave it at, oh, I should have done that. You feel a little guilty, you feel a little self-judgment, and then it passes by. What you want to do is you want to stop at that point and you want to start exploring the thing that you want to do. Now you're actively engaging your thinking and you're starting to draw a consciousness magnet 
towards the particular activity that's going to start seeding more thoughts about it. And this is a great situation to be in because then naturally you'll move to step two, which is you will start speaking about it, start talking about it, start talking to your friends about it, to your family members, start expressing the ideas that you have about taking up this new diet or uh, changing your workout routine or doing something healthy for your body. Now you moved in the speaking realm. So you can actually go out of your way and it's probably best to go out of your way to start talking about it if you say otherwise wouldn't start talking about it, right? So if it doesn't come natural, then what you wanna start doing is going and starting up conversation with your friends. Maybe um, when you see somebody jogging by, you can say, oh, what kind of shoes are those? I was thinking about getting some jogging shoes. Start conversations, start talking about it. So first is thought, then is talking about it, right? And then the third step is to write it down. And a lot of people greatly underestimate the power of writing down your goals, but writing down your goals, spelling words, is called spell for a reason because it's a powerful act. It's actually taking something from the inner space of your consciousness and it is bringing it into the physical world. You are actually creatively creating something in the physical world from your thought space, from your emotion space, from your internal space. So that is actually an act of creation that makes it much more powerful, right? So whether you have to-do lists, whether you have affirmation lists, whatever it is, what you wanna do is start writing it down and this will really start moving you towards action. So when you write it down, what you wanna do is you wanna start writing down all the different steps that you have to do in order to take action on whatever the goal is. So if it's exercise, you know, maybe you wanna figure out where you're gonna exercise, if there's a gym you have to join, if you're gonna exercise in nature, if you need a certain kinds of shoes or certain kinds of clothing, or whatever all the logistics are that you need to figure out in order to make exercise a functional doable thing, you wanna write all those steps down. And when you have all those steps written down, what you've done is you basically paved the road. So the next time you feel inspired, instead of being inspired and saying like, oh, I'm gonna go exercise right now, oh, but I don't have the right shoes, or like, well, where am I gonna go? Or actually, that's not a good place to exercise, or I don't have a gym membership, or all those things start coming up, you have already thought it all out, right? So once you write out all the steps that you need to do in order to start taking action, the next thing you can do that can really, really seal the deal is you can throw your hat over the fence. And what I mean by throw your hat over the fence is, well, if you throw your hat over the fence, then you have to go to the other side to get it. And it's a metaphor used to describe basically um, promising something or getting yourself into something that you can't get out of, or at least that's difficult to get out of. So what you would do is, if you're trying to exercise more, maybe you'd find a friend and promise to meet up with your friend to go exercise at a certain time, right? By doing that, then you have to be held accountable you want to be accountable to your friends, so you're much more likely to follow through because you told your friend you're gonna show up, right? So accountability coaches, you could have a life coach, you could have you know, a friend or a family member that holds you accountable for your actions. If you have a life coach, maybe you tell them you're gonna do something, and then you know that if you don't do it, then the next week it's gonna be an awkward conversation with them, so that helps magnetize you to that action. Another thing you can do is uh, you could put a down payment on something, right? You put a down payment, then you're in the game, right? You've already put your money in. Maybe it's something that you can't get back, right? So if you wanna go on a trip or you wanna do something, you put $500 down on the trip, then you know, well, you're gonna to have to follow through now because you're gonna lose that $500 if you don't. So anything like this is like throwing your hat over the fence, and this is going to make it much more likely that you do it because if you don't do it, you're gonna have either an awkward moment or you're gonna let somebody down or you're gonna miss out on some money or something unpleasant's gonna happen. And step number five, the simplest step of all, just do it. Do it. At this point, it'll probably be easy to do because you've set up so much momentum. You've done so many different things that you've focused your consciousness so hard on this particular thing, you've probably burnt through enough resistance that you're gonna do it. And in fact, the resistance now has a magnet pulling you on the other side. So you might feel resistant a little bit, but you have a magnet pulling you because you've put so much consciousness and so much effort into the idea, into the talking about it, into the writing it down, into thinking out all the steps. You've gone through all these different things and then you've even promised somebody that you're gonna show up. And with all these steps taken, it becomes actually relatively easy to take action. So that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is Patrick Hayes. Like, subscribe, share with your friends. If you haven't already hit the bell button, hit the bell button and you'll be notified every time I release a video. If you have any questions or comments, put them in the comments below and I'm super stoked to keep bringing you content. So thanks so much and I'll talk to you next time. One love.